all know that rooibos is one of South Africa's most treasured beverages and plants, well known for its healing properties. The question is, how useful can it be when it comes to artwork? Well, one Cape Town-based artist decided to put all of this to the test and push the boundaries with her rooibos teabag art. Using tea bags is quite a novel idea. It is a unique substrate because it is a, a reusable canvas and obviously it's inexpensive um, and anyone can actually use it. It's great from that point of view. It is an upcycle and it's giving something that someone would throw away a second life. And it's, um, it's quite durable because it's gone through the hot water process. It's not a flimsy piece of paper. It dries hard and crisp and it's actually really lovely to work on. And uh, once it's been primed, it's a perfect substrate to work on. Jean-Marie Webb is a passionate artist who got the art world to sit up and take notice when she started doing paintings on dried rooibos tea bags. What's more impressive is that Jean-Marie creates a new painting every day. The One Face a Day project was actually birthed in Italy in 2014, where we were doing an art retreat. And um, some of us decided we should do this project of doing One Face a Day for an entire year. I think only two of us actually signed up to do the project and um, I've now done it for two years running. In order for me to get a mini canvas, I would make myself a cup of tea and um, before I put my milk and sugar in, I would leave my bag out to dry for about two days. When my bag is dry, I empty out the tea leaves, um, I, I lay it flat and then I primer it and when that's dry, then I have a ready-made canvas. The whole process can take about a week to get ready. Art collectors are fascinated with this unusual canvas and Jean-Marie's captivating paintings of women. She sold 150 paintings and will be touring the USA. I had an overwhelming response online to my tea bag art. Um, I think, I think it, people just hadn't seen anything like that before. Um, uh, and it being a South African tea bag, I just that size was quite unique. Um, yeah, so it was just a really novel thing that happened, um, and the the international re response I had to it was just overwhelming, and continue to have with it. It's just been amazing. I think the tea bags will always be a little bit part of my art form. I think it's become a little bit part of my life, and. So, yeah, I think I definitely would still continue doing stuff with it and maybe, you know, trying new things with it. I think it'll always just be part of my art practice in some form or another. Praise is pouring in for this unique form of art, and who would have thought that a cup of tea could lead to such delicate creativity that is showing the world what Africa has to offer?